Okay, so here we are. Where is the serpent bullshit? Serpent tome. There it is. See what I got? A gift from Anonymous. It's probably for beating Samael. You get a certain reward item or something. That wasn't it. It's further up. Wait, did I find any relics? I think I did. I should buy potions from him now. I found a nomad gnome. Do, 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 do. Finishing up here in the demon land. This is very quick compared to the other ones. Here it is. Gift from Anonymous. Stage 3 has been unlocked for you to continue your journey in the Crucible. Okay. This is no place for holes. So different. I mean, remember in uh, Darksiders 1 how many stages you need to use the horse on? It wasn't just for travel. There are actually stages where you need to use it to fight bosses and use it inside and indoors to kill things. And this game is just like, it's kind of optional. Never really even need to use it. Okay. I have the key, Crowfather. Then at last you may enter the Well of Souls. But once undertaken, there is no returning on this path. I've come this far, Crowfather. I'm not turning back. Then be warned, Rider of Death. A dark presence guards the well, and the seeds of corruption writhe within. The well is corrupted. Huh. Yes, but not the nameless kind who have faced it thus far. No. Corruption has chosen a champion, a voice to sound its clarion call. Then I will see this finished. Here and now. Remember what you have learned, Ryder. Corruption is the end of all things. Even death. Huh. The tree, the keys, the well. Why do what I the? get... Why did I get another achievement? Complete Lord of the Black Stone, okay. <laughs> the sense you are testing me. You test yourself, old friend. For what you've done. For what you had to do. Now you face the ultimate test. Hmm. Will you bring death or give life? Ah, the door opens. Well, I have two keys to put in first. Huh. Interesting. They each put one key in. Double fuck it, yes! <laughs> How do you carry those giant keys with him? They're twice the size of his body. <laughs> knock, knock. Dark as hell in here. Alright, this is it. The final fight. The Root of Corruption, another achievement. Open the Well of Souls. Well, oh, been leading up to this the whole game. I have no idea how this is actually going to make War Innocent because they never really explained it, but okay. <laughs> have you ever wondered, Death, why you are untouched? While those around you wither and rot in the grip of corruption. Absalom. Could it be that you are already blackened by the sin of betrayal? How can you defeat that Damn. seeds in your own heart? You cannot stop me without forever damning your soul! So? 
Fuck him up. Then so be it. Oops, I don't want to skip.
finally takes the mask off. He's gonna sacrifice himself too. Oh Thus shit! From death came life, and the seeds of humanity will be sown. But death's journey was not ended. Okay. On the shattered earth, his brother War had slain the destroyer. Right. It's the last. You will be hunted. The White City for certain. The Council, and there will be others. You would wage this war alone? No. Not alone. This is when he summoned War had broken the seventh seal, summoning the horsemen of the apocalypse. And the number of the riders shall ever be four. So let me get this straight. This whole game was a prequel. No way. Oh, that is a lame... <sighs> that is a lame ending. So what they're basically saying is what you just saw took place during the time of Darksiders 1. So that whole time when War was doing all that shit and he killed the Destroyer at the end of Darksiders 1... <clears throat> uh, what's his name? Uh, Death was trying to clear his name by returning man. And so it looks like he does... He returns man at the end of this, but then he gets summoned again. Oh, uh, that's kind of annoying, because I was wondering during the whole course of this game, I was like, <clears throat> what's going on with the story? Like, how does this tie into war? And they never really made it clear. And now, they, at the end, you end up basically at the end, the, the, right where you ended up <clears throat> at, the, at the Darksiders 1, <clears throat> which is where war summons the other horsemen, so... Mixed feelings about this game. First of all, definitely worth the money. Let's say it that way. Definitely worth the money. 60 bucks for a game. The campaign that I played is about, you know, just under 20 hours long if you don't do any of the side content. If you do the side content, from what I hear, the game could be up to 50 hours long. I heard that the Crucible is pretty long. Um, and there are several, like, maybe four or five side dungeons that I didn't do. Um... <clears throat> including some cool optional bosses. So, <coughs> so for $60, you know, for 20 hours, you know, mandatory, and then getting maybe an additional 10, 20 hours of gameplay out of the game afterwards, you know, pretty good. However, I, I, do, like, I do like the fact that they did streamline some things. You know, they streamlined fast travel uh, so that you don't have to constantly be backtracking. Uh, I do like the fact that Unlike Darksiders 1, in Darksiders 1, the optional content was basically, you had to backtrack. Backtrack to the same areas once you get certain abilities, and redo stuff. Like, for example, once you had the Shadow Vision ability, you could see things that previously in the game looked transparent, and you couldn't touch them. And that was a little annoying, to have to constantly go back to the places you've already been, and the only reason you're doing it is to find these Shadow items. Um, in this game, the optional content is all side dungeon side areas, which is, it's cool, but at the same time, you know, a lot of the stuff seemed a little bit too easy. Like, I really was never really stumped by a puzzle in this game, and I know for a fact in Darksiders 1, there were a couple that really were kind of mind-bending puzzles. Uh, and it just seemed like it wasn't as difficult as the first game. And definitely, in the combat of this game, the combat was ins insanely simplistic. In fact, I unlocked all those abilities, and I never really used any of them besides the, the, the one where you throw the side, or the basic combo of, like, one, two, and then two heavy attacks. Because it does so much freaking damage once you get possessed weapons, that it pretty much defeats everything in the game. So... I do think that they kind of did a misstep there with the combat. It should have been a little bit more challenging when it really wasn't. Uh, but that said, being said, it's still a pretty good game. It still has a lot of content. If you like dungeon crawling, if you like Zelda-style games, and I know a lot of people would also compare this to, like, Legacy of Kane. Yeah, that's what this kind of game is, and you're definitely going to enjoy it. I think the story is kind of a letdown. The fact that now I just find out the story is, has been going on parallel to the story of Darksiders 1, and you really didn't understand what was going on until the very end, and now it's really like, well, what did you accomplish in this game? Not a hell of a lot, honestly, because now you're right back to square one where you started when you beat Darksiders 1, so it doesn't feel like there was any progression in the plot, because there really wasn't. 
and that is kind of a letdown. Um, doesn't mean it's a bad game. The game is definitely enjoyable. It's actually one of my favorite games this year so far, if you can believe it. Um, and not, not to say that, not not trying to to down talk this game, but there just really haven't been a lot of quality games so far this year. So this was kind of a breath of fresh air for me to play this game. So Dark Siders 2, pretty damn good. I will be doing a hateful truth of it eventually. Uh, so definitely look for my my hateful truth game review of this game coming up. But for now, that's it. Let's just uh, relax here and let the credits write out. Let's watch the end of Dark Siders 2. Where were we? All right, I guess that's it. Oh, what's this? Lilith. You are alone, Lilith. Where are my Nephilim? My prince, I... Uh -oh. The end war is upon us. Yet instead of the army you promised me, death has returned man to the balance. I await your punishment. This time, Lilith. Sex. You will get no pleasure from it. <laughs> Wonder who that is. <laughs> Nightmare mode unlocked. Would you like to start a new game plus with your current character? This will override your save data. To complete any remaining side quests, choose no and return to your last save. Let's say no. So, what it looks like they're teasing here, what it looks like they're teasing here is that there's going to be some guy behind the scenes, probably the one who freed war and sent him on the earth to begin with, and that was him, that was the one who's there with, with Lilith, so it's definitely seeming like this is going to be a game that's probably going to be four, four installments, one for each writer, if not five, and the fifth one maybe they all team up and take on whoever that big guy is, so... All right, that's it for Darksiders 2. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, definitely stay tuned. There will be a review coming up probably in the next day or so.